nimeshamaliza homo kana kuja anaanza kunifanyia hizo vitu anatoka job mapema mbele ya mama In the week between May 25th and May 31st, Chandline Kenya data shows that 52 children were abused. This was the highest weekly figure in the nearly three months since the COVID-19 pandemic hit the country. In the last week of May, on average, seven children a day were either physically or sexually abused, married off, neglected or abandoned. Halima, not a real name vividly recalls the horrific moments of pain and disgust. At just 10 years, she has been through a lot and witnessed so much of scary happenings in her life. Halima lost her teenage years, assuming the role of an adult sooner than expected. She is a victim of sexual violence in the hands of her stepfather Shem Sibota Mogaka, whom she alleges assaulted her regularly. <laughs> baka kuna siku alijifusu kwangu kamoga damu alikuwa ananifanyia usiku akitoka kazi saa moja alafu kesho akaenda shule according to the 2019 status report on children in the justice system 60% of the cases taken to court involve sexual offenses the year 2019 marked sexual exploitation for her in the hands of the man she called father her own biological mother who was not ready to listen to her kaambia mama yangu akaina biblia akasema yes kafanya kitu kama hiyo vile sema hivyo akaendelea kunishika matiti akaendelea hivyo akaendelea hakuna kitu yenye mama alifanya wakakuja wakafika hapa kwa nyumba katoka kwa barabara nikawapata hapa kwa nyumba watoto wakaanza kunielezea Halima is not alone in this. John, not a real name, and Wilson often came to stay with the family in question. Found herself in the most unfortunate situation with no one to protect her innocent self from the predator. Michelle is a good girl, a good girl. She is 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 a good girl. Sasa dadaka kaniambia baba fulani amesema anataka kuchukua huyu ampeleke shule. Tukajiuliza ambaye anaweza kumlipia school fees akiwa hapa. Ni lazima aende huko. Akasema pana. Amesema aende ndio juli mwingine akope yake kwa nyumba asikuwe lonely. The two minors are in standard 5. They claim that the suspect threatened to kill them after they refused to give in to his demands. Kambia mshimishi sasa inabidi hadi twende kwa aunty. Aunty akakuja tukamngisha bedu kamuelezea kila kitu kila kitu vile nilikongana tufanye. Alafu asubuhi tukamka tukaenda kwa chief. Ni kitu yenyenda mwaka mzima kama anafanya. Huyo mtoto ukiangalia makaratasi amekuwa ni kama mama. Amemwaribu kabisa kabisa. But what makes a mother to side with the allegedly defile her husband at the expense of her own child's safety? Alisema sasa alimefika ni naenda tu nichukue vitu zangu. Nikae na mtoto wangu kwa mtu anaweza nifanyie hivi nyunya. Sasa mimi hata mimi nashangaa. Nini imetokea yenye imefanya paka ametenga mtoto wake. Kitu tulikuwa pamoja. Our efforts to talk to Mdangari police station could not bear fruits. The sad reality and irony of things is protectors turning into molesters. We still hold on to the hope of justice being served. Meanwhile, the journey of healing and reconciliation continues. Andrew Kero, Switch TV, at Kawangware, in Nairobi. What a shame. No child should go through what those kids from Kawangware have gone through, especially from their father. From Andrew Kero's story, we derive our question of the day. What do you think should be done to protect kids from defilers? Send in your feedback to our SMS line, 111 444 and at Switch TV Kenya.